Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you guys step-by-step step how I built this weekly planner update. And if you guys want this template, it is 100% for free. I'm gonna link it down below in the description and that way you can duplicate this into your Notion account. Now, the problem I've seen a lot with weekly planners within Notion is two things. One, people assume a task is done seven days a week and the data is based around it. So you have to click a check box and say, okay, is it done Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But the problem is some tasks aren't gonna be done seven days a week. Let's say you're really busy during the work week and you only can go to the gym two times during the week and then once on the weekend. So your goal is to go to the gym three times a week. Well, most planners will say seven days and it doesn't work out for you. So I wanted to solve that issue. The other issue is with numerical tasks. So two things I want to start doing a lot more in 2023 is running, which running, wearing an old running shirt right here. And it's just not an easy checkbox. You're done. For me, running has to be a specific mileage each week and has to change. So one week I might be running 50 miles. One week I might be running 70 or another could be 30. And sometimes you don't want to run it seven days a week. Sometimes you have to have off days or rest days and throw in other workouts. So I wanted to have the adaptability as well. So what I was able to do is create two different databases within Notion, link them together, it created a template. And the best part about this template is you can repeat it week after week and you can scroll back to see your results. So that way it's all in one place. That being said, let me jump onto my computer and show you how this was built. First thing you wanna do is create a brand new page. I'm gonna be naming this one 2023 Weekly Planner. Then you're gonna click over to the top right and make sure that this page is full width and you wanna add in an icon to this. So what I'm gonna end up doing is adding in a notebook. That way it kind of stands out on to the left-hand side, which as you guys can see, I marked this as already a favorite. Up next, you're gonna be creating a page underneath here. And this is where you're gonna be having your first database over here. So I just created a table and then you click over to the bottom right and click new database. Now I'm naming this one semi slash daily tasks. As I mentioned earlier, what the problems on some of these uh, notion templates, you can only do them for seven days a week and it penalizes you otherwise. Delete this column over here. We're gonna start by creating check boxes. So we're gonna to have to create a check box for every single day of the week. So I'm naming this one over here as Sunday, and then I'm gonna du duplicate this six other times so that way every single day of the week is represented. The way you duplicate it is you go on over to edit property and you click duplicate property. And then all you have to do is click at the very top and then rename each of those for the other days of the week. Once you have all the days of the week, you're gonna go over here and click a select list. What we're gonna do is show how many times of the week that we're gonna accomplish this task. Now, you could technically use just a full on number, but I wanted to limit this one through seven. So if you wanna choose number, go right ahead in the tutorial and be showing you the select list. So what I'm doing is creating text that says one day per week and then two days per week, three days per week, all the way through seven. And then when you click in there, you can choose the specific amount of days per week that you wanna accomplish this task. Up next, we're gonna be creating a formula because we're gonna figure out the percentage of the goal hit. Now, formulas are a little bit complicated, sometimes in Notion, but if you have any beginner programming experience, it should be a breeze. We're gonna do a formula and we're gonna show you a little bit of basic programming. So what we're gonna do first is to number, and that assigns the checkbox a number, whether it's a one or a zero. If it's checked, it's a one, blank, zero. But first we have to do a prop. We're gonna put it in quotes and we're gonna do Sunday. With this example, you click Sunday over here and now a one shows up for both of the different rows over there, which is great because that tells us our coding works. Now, let's say you also wanna add in Monday, do the same exact thing over here to number prop, and we're gonna change the text on Sunday over to Monday. Click done over here to the right, and you can see that this works for two. So we're gonna add in all the way Tuesday through Saturday up first and make sure this works before we move on to the next part of the programming. So this next part is a little bit complicated. Stay with me on it though. So what we're gonna wanna do is change the text that's in number of days to an integer. And the way to do that is we're gonna to have to grab the specific string of the number inside of there. So like you can see at the top, there's seven days a week and then there's also one. So we wanna get those specific numbers 
and convert that. And that's why we're using the two numbers side of things. So what we're gonna have on the outside is two number because we're gonna have the integer last. Then we're gonna do slice, which is gonna grab the very first part of that string and then prop, which once again tells you that specific row that is gonna be used. Now I'm doing slice zero one to grab that very first number in the beginning. Not too bad after you do it a few times, can be confusing in the beginning if you have no programming experience. Now you guys see that this works. However, the formula is pretty ugly because we see 0 0.428. Convert this into a percentage and now you guys can see it shows that it works properly. However, I still think we can do a little bit of a better job on cleaning this up. So what we're gonna do is round this percentage. And the way to do that is you put round at the very front and then you multiply this by 100, close it out, and then divide by 100. So you guys can copy the exact code that I use. I'm gonna put it down below in the description or you can just see it in the video and type it out for yourself. If you make a mistake, no big deal. It does happen all the time in programming. Trust me, even expert programmers make mistakes and bugs all the time. So now we're gonna go over to the left of the table. We're gonna add in our specific tasks. So the first one I'm gonna add is meditate. And what's cool is you can also add an icon over here. So we're gonna add in an icon of someone meditating. So I'm just gonna put in yoga over here, and put that. Another one we're gonna add is guitar, which is one of my favorite hobbies. And like meditate, we're gonna throw an icon in as well. So pretty easy, basic stuff on this. And this was the harder table to do. The next one's actually gonna be fairly easy. So we're gonna be able to create that really quickly, but we're gonna delete that last row over there and this looks very clean. Now we're gonna create a brand new database. So go to the very top 2023 weekly planner, create a brand new page, name it however you like. However, I'm gonna be naming it numbered task. And then we're gonna go over here under database and click table. Again, new database, we are starting from scratch. Unfortunately, we can't really copy over what we used just because the rows are gonna be a little bit different. So over here, we're gonna name our first two tasks. We kind of did at the very end of the last one, but kind of show you guys a little bit of difference. We're gonna put running over here and also reading. So again, like the icons, you can add those over here. I'm gonna put over some sneakers and then also a book. Now, instead of the check boxes, what we're gonna do for each of these specific columns is we're gonna be adding in a number. That way we can add these up at the very end and then we can divide by whatever the goal is for that week. Again, just duplicate these over and then rename all the different columns. Lastly, you're gonna to wanna to have your goal column. So for running, for example, I'm gonna say that I wanna hit 50 miles in a week. And then for reading, I wanna have 200 pages read within a week. I'm gonna fill out the rest of this table with some dummy data, and then we're gonna go into the formula. Now this formula is gonna be a little bit different than the other one, so pay attention, but it's gonna be so much easier. And unlike last time where we had to change everything to is number, since we're already dealing with numbers, all you have to do is prop and then the specific column that is associated with it. So you can see prop Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and we're gonna do props all the days of the week and then we're gonna divide at the very end. But just to make sure that it works properly, we're gonna do that. And you guys can see that the numbers are adding up. So we have 28 over here for running, and then we have 99 for reading. So that being said, we're gonna divide everything out by the specific goal, and that way we can see how far we are progressed throughout the week. And again, like last time, just to make numbers clean, make sure to add in the rounding side of things. Again, the code is gonna be down below in the description, so that way you don't have to type everything out. One other thing that you can do on here to make it look a lot cleaner is change the specific number in the formula column to a ring. And I'm gonna do that actually to both specific tables because I like the aesthetics that are behind. Now is the fun part. So now we're gonna templatize this so that way you can duplicate these databases every single week. So we're gonna go back to 2023 weekly planner and I'm gonna show you guys how you can do this. First thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is create a toggle and we're gonna put that right over there. And what this is gonna do is help us organize this data because we're gonna put a table of contents behind it. So to do that, you just put in slash table of contents. Next, we're gonna drag over the table of contents all the way to the far right. And you guys can resize the columns as well makes it really easy to do. So you can see all the way to the right, 
or a little bit of spacing like that. Next, what we're gonna do is change these links over to the other databases, the inline databases, but we're gonna drag them up first so that way they are in the two column layout. So go over here and then click turn in into inline and you can see how this is represented and you do that with the other one as well. So now we have both databases within this specific page, but now we need to templatize it. But first, before we templatize it, you need to put in the specific date for that week. I'm gonna choose a heading too because I like the looks of it and I'm gonna put 1 to 2023, which is the first week of the new year. Before we templatize it, I'm actually gonna remove all this data that's associated with it, leave them both blank. So that way each week, I don't have to really deal with it. Now just make sure the number of days per week are pretty accurate as well as the goal for the number of tasks. That way you don't have to change them out every single week. But if it changes, you do have that option as well. So we're gonna create slash template at the very top and we're gonna start dragging these in at the very specific bottom. So you can see I put one to 2023, I put the semi daily tasks and then I also put the number task down below. So this is now templatized. One other thing I'd recommend is you guys put the dates in for these tables themselves. It takes a few extra seconds, but it makes it organizing a lot better, especially over here on the left when you're gonna have the weekly planner, you're gonna have each of these databases built out underneath it. So you can go to these any specific time. Rename the button name to new week, click close. And now we have this blank screen. Click new week and check this out. Everything has been created. Now I accidentally left a to-do over here, so we're gonna actually delete this from the template for new week. Once again, duplicates all of the data blank over here. And what's cool is each week doesn't impact each other. So I can go over here and click this one nine, as well as the different databases over here. You see it on the left column, how the date changes as well for organizing it. And then you can change any of the data over here and it is great. And then just to change this, go over to configure, delete over, and then click close once again. And this template has been completed. So that's the build for the weekly planner. Not too bad, a little bit of coding, but if you guys wanna learn more about Notion, click this link right here. I created a full beginner's course. It's gonna help you quite a bit, especially if you are brand new to the program.